Here are three things to know for Sunday, August 18th. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky now says that the military operation into Russian territory aims to create a buffer zone and destroy Russia's war potential. New video shows the aftermath of a Ukrainian drone attack leaving plumes of smoke. Zelensky's warning that if you were given full reign to strike legitimate military targets inside Russia, he could shorten the war. And now is the time while Ukraine has some um, Ukraine launched its attack on August 6th. The war in Ukraine has now been going on for over two and a half years. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken is in the Middle East, continuing to push for the long-awaited ceasefire deal that could bring an end to the war in Gaza. Earlier, President Biden saying they're close on a deal. I'm optimistic, not far from over. Just a couple more issues, I think we got a shot. Blinken is set to meet with Israeli officials tomorrow and then head to Egypt. This new deal would halt most Israeli military operations in Gaza while releasing Palestinian prisoners and Israeli hostages. As many as half a million undocumented people living in the United States could soon be eligible for temporary legal status. A new Biden administration program set to start tomorrow would allow some spouses of U.S. citizens to stay in the country, apply for a green card, and eventually gain citizenship. The program already faces concerns of challenges in courts and a potential Trump presidency.